in this session let us derive two very very important uh, formulas for the in order to calculate voltage regulation or efficiency problems and three problems on per unit quantities okay see what about like you know re re per unit okay either re1 per unit or re2 per unit will be same because means zl zl in per unit equal to zl dash in per, per unit so re1 per unit re2 per unit will not be there re per unit is nothing but re divided by z base okay basically r base will not be there because this is in ohms and this is also in ohms okay so z base only will be there for example s base p base q base will not be there only s base will be there okay r base x base z base will not be there only z base only will be there because actual value in ohms divided by base value in ohms okay now let me add ifl ifl okay and let me add ifl divided by i base and ifl is same so this is going to be i base okay because previously we derived like you know uh, ifl equal to i base full load current is nothing but base value of current now what is happening ifl square re divided by okay z base into i base is going to be v base v base into i base is going to be va base what is va base in a transformer va rated only okay so this is going to be ifl square re divided by va rated now see here what is ifl square re full load current square multiplied by equivalent resistance is nothing but full load copper losses in the windings okay now in sc test we are getting copper loss or in your oc test sc test okay but logic here is sc test can be conducted at like you know less than full load conditions also so we have to cross check whether sc test is conducted at full load or not if it is not conducted at full load we have to map to full load okay please remember that now ifl square re is nothing but watt meter reading in short circuit conditions okay watt meter reading in short circuit condition is nothing but full load copper loss only okay now this is going to be watt meter reading short circuit conditions but the test is should be conducted at full load divided by va rated okay what does it mean this is going to be okay full load copper losses divided by va base copper losses will be in watts okay some actual value in watts divided by equivalent also will be in watts only because as i told you va cos pi va sin pi va will have the same dimensions so full load copper losses in per unit so copper losses full load per unit and also what is this re per unit equal to re divided by z base so this is nothing but re per unit okay so re per unit and copper loss full load conditions in per unit are going to be same or watt meter reading at full load conditions with respect to rated kva is going to be same now next thing is let me think of ze per unit okay ze per unit equal to ze in ohms divided by z base okay now let me add ifl divided by i base means again let me repeat ifl and i base is going to be same already we derived that okay so ze into ifl is nothing but what full load current multiplied by uh, impedance will give you voltage drop across leakage impedance at full load conditions okay so voltage drop at, uh, at full load conditions across ze divided by what is the z base into i base is going to be v base what is v base is nothing but v rated only so this is going to be okay voltage drop across uh, ze at full load conditions is nothing but short circuit conditions voltage like you know voltmeter reading only but that sc test should be connected at full load for example let me add resistance reactance this is going to be vsc no vsc no r e and x e and this is going to be isc no we discussed this okay if isc is ifl and what is the voltage here isc ifl if ifl into ze is nothing but vsc only so this is going to be short circuit voltmeter reading if the test is conducted at full load divided by v rated or v base is going to be ze per unit okay 
Now, let us use the same ZE per unit formula in this particular question. Okay. So, in this, this is actually two marks question of old gate. Actually, in gate, uh, I let me repeat, my, like you know, in gate, in order to crack gate, it's actually very simple. Okay, but we should be strong in basics. That's it. Okay, let us see this problem. The percentage impedance of a 100 kV, 11 kV by 400 volts. Actually, don't get scared by seeing three phase connections. You please convert into single phase equivalent. That's fine. Okay, in three phase, the most important thing is how to find dy, yd connections dy1 yd1 and all that is important and second important is only harmonics okay now remaining all we can solve in single phase equivalent circuit only and 50h transformer is 4.5 percent is going to the percentage impedance keep it in mind for the circulation of half full load current during sc test with low voltage terminal shorted with low voltage ter terminal shorted in the sense he is applying voltage to high voltage side the applied voltage in the high voltage side will be okay now as we discussed previously what is ze per unit is nothing but short circuit voltage provided that test is conducted at full load divided by v rated okay now how much is ze per unit 4.5 percent okay so how much will be the short circuit voltage in order to run at full load conditions is going to be short circuit voltage at full load equal to 4.5 divided by 100 into rated voltage on hv side because lv lv terminals are shorted so hv side where is hv 11 kv by 400 11 kv is going to be the hv voltage and remember one thing in calculating per unit always like you know consider single phase equivalent only in power systems we will discuss like you know between star and delta or maybe like you know in uh, synchronous machines let us see that okay for time being let us use single phase equivalent only now 4.5 percent 11 kv side delta so delta side line voltage is nothing but phase voltage line voltage is 11 kv is nothing but phase voltage so per phase voltage rated voltage is 11 kv so 11 kv now in sc test let me repeat this okay so this is going to be vsc this is going to be isc and is it linear or not less the moment it is linear simply try to apply your network theory if it is at full load if it is at full load vsc at full load is going to be this if it is at half full load okay if current has to be half voltage has to be half so what is the what is the answer required for full load this much for half full load half of it half into 4.5 percent into 11 kv will be the answer to 47 that's it okay so logic is very simple we should be strong in the basics okay and we should not remember each and everything because if you try to remember each and everything lindy lindy solutions will come like most of the publications okay now coming to the point here this is also old gate question only okay basically let me tell you one small thing in like you know uh, efficiency in maybe ideal transformer okay so a bit lengthy questions they will give but if people are scared of any small topic maybe harmonics harmonics for sure just like you know you need not waste time just read the question answer it okay but definitely they will give for two marks only because most of the members are scared of harmonics okay and we can expect two linked questions also for four marks also because many times they have given okay so if people are scared of any subtopic definitely in that subtopic they will give for more marks only okay even now this is so simple but they have given it for two marks. Now let us think of this. In this question, three phase transformer, forget about three phase, okay? Three phase, some transformer has rating of 20 MVA to 20 KV. And this connection with leakage reactance of 12%, the transformer reactance in ohms, okay? What do we know? Z per unit equal to Z into VA base by V base square. Okay, the actual value of Z in ohms, Z in ohms equal to Z per unit into V base square divided by V A base. What did I say? We have to consider every time like you know single phase equivalent circuit, then like you know per unit, everything will fall in place. So what is Z per unit? They have given 12 percent. So 0.12 into what is V base square? He is asking transformer reactance in ohms refer to each phase of LV delta. Okay, so LV side reflected reactance you would like to calculate means LV side is going to be 33 kV. 
In 33 kV, what is passive voltage? Because it is delta. So 33 kV only. Now 33 kV divided by what is VA base? 20 MVA for 3 phase. For single base, it is going to be 20 by 3. 20 by 3 MVA. So you will get the answer of 19.6. That's it. Puma's question. Okay. Let us take one more question. One more question. This is also Volgate only. Obviously, like you know, for two marks only. Now, uh, is the resistance reactance of 100 kV transformer are 0.02 and 0.07 per unit respectively. The phase impedance of the transformer refer to the primary is. Where is primary? 11 kV is the primary. Okay. Now let us use the same equation. Z per unit equal to Z into VA base by V base square or Z equal to Z per unit into V V base square divided by VA base. So Z per unit is how much? 0 0.02 plus 0 0.07 J. So 0 0.02 plus J 0 0.07 into V base square per phase per phase so 11 11 kv and delta side so per phase value is 11 only so 11 kv square divided by va base va base is 100 kv for three phase so 100 by 3 kv for single phase okay so this answer is going to be 72.6 plus J254.1 answer is D. Over. Okay. So remember one thing. Very by knowing very, very small, small things, we can do better, more better in case of gate exam. Thank you.